Prophecy declares, He shall speak pompous words against the Most High, shall persecute the saints of the Most High, and shall intend to change times and law. Then the saints shall be given into his hand. Daniel chapter 7 verse 25. Human beings will set up laws to work against the laws of God, and in their zeal to enforce these laws, they will oppress their fellow men. The warfare against God's law will continue until the end of time. Everyone will have to choose between God's law and human laws. There will be only two classes of people. Every character will be fully developed. All will show whether they have chosen the side of loyalty or that of rebellion. Then the end will come. God will prove the justice of his law and will deliver his people. He will cut off Satan and all who join him in rebellion. Sin and sinners will die, root and branch. See Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. This is not an arbitrary act on God's part. The rejecters of his mercy reap what they have sown. God is the fountain of life, and when people choose sin, they cut themselves off from life. Christ says, All those who hate me love death. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. God gives them existence for a time, so that they can develop their characters and reveal their principles. When this is done, they receive the results of their own choice. Satan and all who unite with him place themselves so out of harmony with God that the very presence of him who is love will destroy them. At the beginning of the great controversy, the angels did not understand this. If Satan and his followers had died then, doubt about God's goodness would have remained in the angels' minds as evil seed, ready to produce its deadly fruit of sin. But it will not be that way when the great controversy will come to an end. Then, with the plan of redemption having been completed, the character of God stands clearly revealed to all created intelligences. The principles of His law are seen to be perfect and unchangeable. Sin has revealed its nature, Satan his character. The extermination of sin will prove God's love and establish his honor before the universe. In light of all this, the angels could well rejoice as they looked on the Savior's cross. Although they did not understand everything then, they knew that Satan's destruction was made certain, human redemption was assured, and the universe was made eternally secure. Christ himself looked forward to all these results of his sacrifice when on the cross he cried out, It is finished.